All right, this is Showcase Shower Innovations Facebook Live number two. And I'm about to tell you about the latest news regarding the extra hand clip from Showcase Shower Innovations. But uh, first, let me introduce myself. My name's Chris Phillips. I'm the owner of Showcase Shower Door Company right here in beautiful Santa Cruz, California. Now, uh, if you know somebody who's in the glass industry and they need to see this video, be sure to go ahead and tag them right now. We want to make sure that they find out about this important information. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and follow myself on Facebook here on my iPad. So let me see if I can figure out how to do that really quick. That way, uh, if you have any questions or comments, I can go ahead and answer those for you. Let's see here. There it is. All right. It says that it's live. So anyway, you know, glazers are smart. Uh, they figure out all sorts of ways to get work done with just whatever's laying around. Now I had an installer who would uh, take cut off pieces of U channel and use some glazing tape, put them on there and then uh, use those to hold a piece of glass in place while he was doing layout or doing some other work. Just kind of like an extra hand uh, to hold the glass for him. And uh, it gave me an idea for a tool that does just that. It helps hold the stationary panel in a frameless shower enclosure in place during a layout and installation. And it's called the extra hand clip. And uh, it looks just like this. I kind of hold it up to the camera so you can see it. And uh, now we've been making these parts on our own 3D printers right here in our shop. Um, now these aren't made of the typical plastic that you use on a 3D printer like ABS or PLA. Um, we use a, carb a polycarbonate filament to make these and it allows us to make a durable tool that actually holds up to real world applications. Uh, and the extra hand clip is one of the most popular items that we've come up with so far. You guys have given us a great, a lot of great feedback and uh, and even some ideas about the tool, and we really appreciate that. I want to thank those of you who are already using it, um, and I also do want to thank you for the feedback that you've given us. Uh, we've actually come up with an idea for a new version based on some some information you've given us after using the tool in the field for a little bit. I'm going to tell you about that here in a little while. And again, if you have any comments or questions, suggestions on um, how to use the tool more effectively, please let me know. You know, uh, it's our goal to make your job easier. That's what we're here for. And so we're really interested in learning what you're finding out and uh, seeing how we can improve uh, any of our tools. So uh, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't, go ahead, give us a thumbs down and uh, just let us know uh, how you're feeling about it. Anyway, as I was saying uh, earlier, we started out producing these um, on our own 3D printers and they turn out a really nice product. Uh, uh, but in order to produ produce them a little bit more quickly, we found a manufacturing source right here in the United States. And they're now molding these parts using a rigid polyurethane plastic. And uh, the new part looks like this. And I'll go ahead and hold that up too. As you can see, it looks pretty much identical to the old part. Uh, it's a little bit shinier in the finish, but um, the original was made from a, a 3D printed part and then cast and now molded um, and, and polyurethane. Um, so uh, the great thing about this is we can produce these a lot faster while still maintaining the same high quality standards that you guys expect from us. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and post a link to the product page so you can see the video demonstration of how the tool is actually used and find out more details about how you can purchase it. Uh, if you don't want to wait for that link, you can just go straight to the URL extrahand.net. That's extra-hand.net and check it out right now. So today uh, I'm here in my shop, so I'm not going to try to do a full on demonstration but we will do a Facebook Live sometime from a job site so you can actually see the tool in action live. Yeah, that's always fun to do. You never really know what's gonna happen. 
Um, so there's a couple of new features uh, to the updated part. In addition to make to making the uh, extra hand from polycarbonate, uh, from actually from polyurethane and the molded type, um, we've added this layer of rubber to the back plate. Now, um, the old 3D printed part has uh, this printed surface, and it's just uh, polycarbonate, whereas the new part actually has this rubberized uh, backing that's a little bit more grippy, and uh, it's pretty cool. It actually almost eliminates the need to add tape uh, to hold the part in place when you're using it. Now, I recommend that you do use the tape, um, and go ahead and follow uh, the instructions in the video when you're using it. But um, if you've got the old one and you haven't tried the new one yet, go ahead and get one and, and try it out. I think you're really going to like it. Um, it really gets a lot more grip uh, on the substrate if it's tile or, or granite, marble, whatever you're installing against um, to really hold that part in place. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure I'm not missing anybody's comments here. Um, the old iPad. Sometimes it's a little tricky. But uh, all right, great. So anyway, I um, wish I had a piece of glass here so I could show you. Oh, actually, I do have a piece of glass. All right, so here's a piece of half inch glass, just happen to have handy. And uh, and this is actually the, the extra hand clip made for half inch glass. So you can buy these in a kit that comes with a pair, um, one for three eighths and one for half inch. Um, and uh, here the old part, you can see it just fits right on the edge. Um, and then this can be uh, placed up against the wall and then normally what you do is you just secure this in place with a couple pieces of tape um, and it just kind of holds the, the panel in place while you're working. You can do your layout there, you can um, uh, you know, figure out where the hole is for your clip or even install the clip um, and uh, you don't need an extra guy just standing there to hold the, the piece of glass in place. Like I say with uh, the polycarbonate material, it's pretty slippery um, surface on the back. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, so with the polyurethane part, we went ahead and added this new feature, which is the rubberized coating on the back. So now, I mean, it really grips. It's really hard to, to slide it against the smooth surface. So whether you're installing against tile or granite, um, you know, marble, uh, slate, whatever it is that's in your shower um, that you're installing in, this goes against the wall and then the glass goes into it. And as you can probably imagine, that really stops this, uh, this, this tool from moving around. Um, gives you way more accuracy and uh, I'm really happy about it. I actually destroyed one of these um, to just compare it to the strength of, of the original part because I was curious about that and it's fun to destroy stuff. So uh, I did that and uh, it, it really held up good. Actually, I think it's a little bit stronger uh, than the polycarbonate part, which is, I was impressed by. Anyway, um, that's a little bit about the extra hand clip uh, from Showcase Innovations. Thanks for taking the time to tune in and watch this video. Again, um, you can go straight to the website at uh, extra-hand.net. Check out the part. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, really excited to hear about it. I told you I'd tell you about the new version of the extra hand that we've just come up with. This actually isn't available on the website yet, but we had a, a technician who, um, who wrote in, gave us some feedback about the part, and he said, what about um, uh, an application where you're using a header? Um, and that's really a great question because uh, with the old part, when you've got it on the top corner like this, it's got this little leg that's, that's made to hold it into place, which is a great feature because you can put it there, let it go, then you can move the glass and uh, the part stays in place, theoretically. Live TV is great. Uh, the part stays in place, you know, while you're moving it. 
Um, but if you have a header that goes on the top, and uh, the header is the only thing that's holding the top of the glass, uh, you it's, it's hard to keep it in place when you've got a piece on the left, a piece on the right, and then a door going in the middle, you've got a header that's gonna go on. So he suggested uh, that we make a part without that little leg. And an additional feature that he suggested was that we put a little notch right smack dab in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see that, but if you look really closely, you can see there's a little V groove right in the center on the top and on the bottom. What that allows you to do is uh, set up your laser level and put your plumb line uh, right exactly in the center of your of your enclosure. Then you can actually place the extra hand part right on that line. Um, fasten it in place with some tape and then when you slide your uh, fixed panel into it, it'll hold it right on layout for you. And since there's no leg on the top, it's able to slide and, and fit in any place here so you can go ahead and put your header in place. So, it's the latest version of the extra hand clip. Like I say, this isn't available for purchase yet, but expect it to be going up on the website any minute now. Um, great for people who use uh, a lot of headers. And this is a this has been a pain for a long time. Of, you know, if you're by yourself doing an installation and you've got two fixed panels to install and a header that's gonna go on and hold those in place, how do you keep you know, that first panel in place while you run over and install the second panel? Well, this is that solution. So, kind of excited about that. Anyway, my name's Chris Phillips here in Santa Cruz. Uh, really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate you guys um, buying the parts and, and using them and trying them out and, and, and telling us about how you like them. Gotten a great response so far. Um, we really appreciate just being being able to, to be a part of the industry and, and help out in some small way. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again soon.